Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another vlog and I have a lot to do today. Um, I have to help collect and build a wood bonfire for my high school that I used to go to when I was in school. I'm now a cyber student, but um, every year they have this tradition where they build like a huge bonfire and the students help like collect the wood and build the bonfire and then they also like sleep out overnight to like watch the wood it's always like a big thing with our rival high school students coming over like overnight and like doing stuff to either like the bonfire or like our mascot bulldog and like spray painting vandalizing doing things like that so i'm not going to be sleeping out tonight just because i would not be able to get any sleep in a tent outside um in the freezing cold but um there are like lots of students that are and also it's only like the seniors building it each class tries to make like a bigger and bigger bonfire um just to like be the best you know um so i thought it would be like really fun to kind of vlog i'm not going to be able to film like too too much because i'm going to be outside like helping collect wood with other students and also i might have to leave early my school lets out around like 2 20 i don't know if that's when they're going to stop or if they're going to continue or if they're going to like end early i'm not really sure but um, I have my acting class to get to at 2 o'clock it starts and I have a performance today um, and I cannot flake on that because my performance is with a partner. So um, we've been practicing that for like weeks and yeah I'm also really nervous for that because it's like a two minute performance that you have to like memorize lines and like perform up in front of your class. It is 7.06 right now and I have no clue what time I would go to the school. I'm doing it with Darian. I got like a pink shirt and I think the shirts go by groups. So, like if you have a yellow shirt, you're with this group. If you have a pink shirt, green shirt, blue shirt, you go with whatever color group you're in. So me and Darian both got pink. I've been texting Darian and he's telling me to come around like 7.30. So I should start to get ready about like now. I mean, I can't really be like late because all the students there are going to have to go to like a first block. But I don't have a first block since I'm not a student there. So uh yeah i have to like really bundle up because it is 30 degrees out right now and i'm gonna be outside all day i'm talking like layers boots like fuzzy socks gloves if the lighting has looked weird this whole entire time i'm using the flashlight on my phone as lighting because the sun isn't even up yet also my room has changed around since the last time you guys saw it um i got a new bed frame bed board i had some new decorations here and there so a updated room tour will be coming soon you guys have been asking for it and also a updated what's on my iphone is really requested as well so those videos will be on the way soon after this video i'm just gonna put on some ardell studio wispy lashes and that's it also the rival between my old high school and the other school is actually a pretty big rival and it also made it on the news and ESPN. Also, you guys might know how important the last football game coming up for Thanksgiving is to like the football seniors because this is like their last game that they're going to end off on. So if they lose this, it's kind of like a big thing. And this is like kind of what they practice for like from whenever they start playing football to now. Um... I personally don't follow football. I thought football was over, but um, yeah, I don't really know much about it. I'm probably just going to keep my hair like this because I want it like out away from my face and my hair is like kind of wavy right now, so I don't want it in a ponytail. Okay, so now to get dressed, I have my t-shirt right there. I also bought some fake Tims. They're like really cheap boots from Walmart because I wasn't trying to ruin my actual Tims. I'm going to wear like fleece leggings under... Probably another pair of leggings and maybe sweatpants as well. Like, you guys, I'm cold all the time. Like, I'm freezing right now and I'm inside and it's even colder usually in the morning times. And this is the t-shirt. It is so cute. It says Senior Bonfire and then on the back it says Bonfire of 2020. And I actually never like t-shirts like this, but the design I think is really cute. three pairs of socks because i was gonna wear fuzzy socks but also it's now like 7 30 and darian just called me and said that the students are going outside now so i should probably leave i hate putting pants over pants like a shirt over a shirt that's fine but like pants over pants i freaking hate it 
Okay, so yeah, I just have two leggings on instead. Okay, so a quick OTD. I have my pink bumper shirt over a gray sweatshirt and also two pairs of leggings with my Tims. I'm gonna go brush my teeth, maybe grab like a bottle of water and then I'll head out. And I also have my gloves on. These are my dad's, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm now all ready to go. Also, you guys, I forgot to mention, I think that the reason why, like, our high schools are such big rivals is because we're in two different states. So, I live, like, right on the border of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So, I'm in Pennsylvania, and right across the river is their high school in Jersey. Also, I've been starting all my recordings with my nose um, because I have gloves on and I'm not trying to take them off because I already put them over this and I have my mom help me for that. So, <clears throat> yeah. I can literally see my own breath in my own car. That's how cold it is. Um, okay, so. I probably shouldn't have put water on that because it's just gonna freeze. At least it's not snow. Okay, so I am here and I probably should have put in like some warmer gloves underneath these. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I'm walking around the side. Yeah. So it is now 11.30 and I just left. I was supposed to leave early anyways because the acting class, but I wanna really practice before because I have my um, performance in front of the class today with my partner. So um, I left a little bit earlier. Um, I was there since like eight o'clock. So to like 
11 30. that's like three and a half hours of working it probably doesn't look like i did like a lot of work from the footage that i was getting because anytime i would record i obviously couldn't like be throwing wood everywhere um but whenever i didn't record i was like doing wood and there was only like a couple of times here and there where there would be like only like a two minute break and then we'd sit down and then go like immediately right back to work we were basically like consistently working and like moving wood back and forth um for the whole time I just did my scene and it was one of the best that we've ever done like out of any time we've ever practiced which i'm really surprised for because usually i freeze in front of people It is now later after the bonfire and I never really talked about like the actual experience. I kind of just vlogged it and then made an outro when I came home and then like called it a day. Um, so I did make an outro yesterday but I am going to cut that out because I did vlog a lot today as well. So I'm going to actually do an outro today and I want to talk about the experience overall a little bit more. So starting with building the actual bonfire itself. Um, it was i think a really fun experience like i would definitely do it again especially because it's like only a one-time thing like you can only do it when you're a senior and like that's it it's not like it's all four years of high school it makes it that much more special and i am not somebody that's like friends with lots of people i know people but i'm not friends with them i don't say hi to anybody and it, i feel like it was just a day that we all kind of came together worked together i saw some people there that i've seen in the hallways i've never talked to in my life and they were like oh hey like pass this wood up there and like everybody was just friendly and it wasn't about like any rivals or enemies that you had with anybody it was just like all coming together to build an awesome bonfire which i think is really really great it also makes it really special to me because since me and darian go to the same school i was able to do it with him and not every high school does this so i thought it was just like a really cool experience and i'm really glad that i was able to catch it on record so i can look back and remember it because I honestly loved everything about the whole idea. I'm sorry if you can't really see me or if the lighting's bad because um, I'm currently driving home, but the actual experience of lighting the bonfire that we made on fire was just as awesome as building it. It was a really fun time, but I will admit that the fire got way out of hand. Like, it was definitely the biggest bonfire in Easton history. I think the record was 12 trucks of wood. Last year, 2019's class, I think, got 8 or 9 trucks. And this year, 2020, my class managed to get 18 trucks of wood. So that is way more than the record for our high school, which is totally amazing. Although I do say that, like, I hated high school and, like, I didn't like going, that's why I did cyber and everything. I mean, nobody really enjoys high school. I feel like the good moments are really, really good and like when we do activities, it's really fun and I enjoy them. But um, I feel like cyber school was just for me personally because I'm not really a social person. I hated doing group projects. I just like couldn't focus on my work. That's how bad it was. So, I mean, it's not that I hate high school or the people in it. It's kind of just like a personal problem, really. This was one of those activities that I really, really did enjoy, although I didn't sleep out. Not glad I didn't do it, but I'm also not like regretting it, wishing I would have. It's kind of just like whatever, like yeah, it is like a, only a one-time thing to do, but like 
I don't know. I just think it wasn't personally for me. Like, I just wouldn't have enjoyed it. Like, building it is one thing, but sleeping overnight and, like, the freezing weather is a whole nother thing. But, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, the bonfire got way out of control. There were actually, like, patches of grass that, like, were burning from, like, I guess wood that, like, flew onto the grass and then that caught on fire, which could be a really, really huge problem if the wind would have been blowing in a different direction towards the school because... I will say that I don't know why they do make the bonfire so close to the school, um, especially if it's going to be like that big, like if they knew it, it was going to be like that much wood and all that. It was so incredibly hot. There were people like backed all the way up against the school, like going like this and it still was like just burning your face and you could barely breathe. The smoke was like so overwhelming. I tried to record as much as I could, but I was recording on my iPhone as I am right now. So the audio is a little bit lower than probably the other footage that I got in this video that I've recorded with my camera. But um, I tried my best. I didn't want to risk like dropping my camera in the mud because it was very muddy. Um, I'm probably going to have to like deep clean my car tomorrow because my boots were like sinking all in the mud. Yeah, that was my experience with the bonfire. I really loved it and wish I could do it again. And yeah, that was it for this vlog. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. If your guys' high school does anything like this, even if it's not like a bonfire, just any other tradition that your high school has, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on all my post notifications so you get a notification in your Dropbox every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and bye guys.